Namaste, love and light, everyone. Yeah, I feel so guided right now to do a reading. <coughs> to pull you guys some um, messages. We have messages of deceit. Okay, not my reading. My reading is about a message of deceit. Somebody could have been trying to, to deceive you, all right, and deceive your reading so you won't know what's coming out in your readings. All right, this person's going to have a bad reputation. I feel like somebody wanted you to have a bad reputation, okay, and they're going to end up having a bad reputation. If you're a reader, this person wanted you to have a bad reputation by saying that your readings are deceitful, okay, your readings are bad here, and you're just trying to force the energy, all right, that you're picking up in your readings, okay? You could be, you know, a reader like me, or you could have been reading this person, and you could expose them for some stuff, and they're trying to say you're trying to force that energy on them, and that's not true. You have no proof. This person is holding a grudge. I feel like they've been holding a grudge on you for a long time with the same shit different day. I feel like if you are a reader, your cards are explaining exactly what's going on, okay? Just like how this card says same shit different day, this is the energy that this karmic is in, okay? This is, this is, just what the energy is, all right? I'm getting this karmic is being exposed for trying to steal your energy, and they were trying to expose you for doing that, and it backfired on them because they was actually the ones doing it. You're going to receive your, your Christmas gift I'm getting, all right? <clears throat> your gift from Christmas. I don't know if you guys celebrate Christmas, or these could just be blessings from God, all right? This karmic energy that they were trying to put on you, that they were trying to force on you, is blocked, and it was sent back on to them because they was the ones that was trying to force this energy on you. They was the ones that was trying to block you. This was a happiness hater. If this was a friend, it was a happiness hater. I'm getting inflict. They was trying to inflict this energy on you, and it backfired on them. Yeah, they're a happiness hater. They're being exposed for being a happiness hater. Okay, some of you guys like Cardi B, okay? That's what I'm picking up. Uh-oh. A lot of backfiring is happening right now. I'm getting these karmas is definitely on a hot seat, and they're getting ex getting exposed for what they've done. They keep trying to tell people what you've done, what you've done, what you've done, and they don't want to talk about what they've done, and I'm getting they're being exposed for what they've done. Uh-oh, Monty, please spit it out. They're being exposed to what they've been doing to you. They don't want to talk about that. That's how you know that they're karmic and they're narcissistic and that they're hiding something because they don't want to talk about what they've done. They just want to talk about what you've done. Yeah, this person is an impersonator. You see how it fell on top of theft? And that's why you blocked them. All right, they're being exposed for stealing your energy. They're being exposed for trying to steal your energy. I'm hearing as well. They could have been stealing it. And for some of you guys, they tried to. That try to indicates that you are protected, that it was blocked. And for some of you guys, you had to get yourself protected because they was trying to impersonate your energy, steal your energy every day. They were doing spell work to steal your energy. And they're getting exposed for doing spell work. Okay. I'm getting a mom, okay, They, you could be telling your mom this, or their mom, no, I don't know, I'm getting a mom, you could be a mom, alright, yeah, if you're a mom, they could have been trying to, like, you know, expose your mother motherhood for, like, being a bad mom, I'm getting, alright, and if this is a female, she's being exposed to being a bad mother, you remember we've been talking about CPS and shit, yeah, that shit is backfiring on these karmics, they was hooked on your energy, they was obsessed, they could even been sexually obsessed with you, alright, this could have been an ex, right, they were trying to block your energy, all right, through sex magic here, yeah, and then all that was rejected. Their sex magic was rejected and sent back to them. Y'all should check out my Instagram. I have a reading talking about that, how Carmen tried to do sex magic on you, and that shit was rejected, and it was sent back to them. Their energy ain't shit. That's how your angels and your ancestors feel. That's why your an angels and ancestors are protecting you from them, because they their energy is, ain't shit. It's like it's no good. They don't have good energy here. Okay, I'm getting y'all are enjoying this good Sunday, and this karmic is sitting in the background holding a grudge against you and towards everyone else because their plans did not work. They're mad at you and everyone else who know what they try to do to you, okay? That's what I'm getting. Alright, tomorrow may not be promised for this karmic, and they're mad about that too. They put a death spell on them, a death trap. Yeah, they're steady stalking you. They stalk you every day to see if their death spell worked on you, but it worked on them. This could have even been with the impersonator-ass um, karmic friend. Alright, yeah, they try to put a death spell on you, and that shit worked on them. And and they, they feel like tomorrow ain't promised for them. It's like that's haunting them. And that's why they constantly stalk you to see if it works on you, because that energy is hovering over them. Alright, and they in fear. They get in fear, so they go ahead and stalk you to see, well, let me see if it works on you because I don't want to die. All right, look, they're trying to run from death. I told y'all, there's a reaper named Death. They're trying to run from, from, from death now. 
They trying to run. Yo. Yeah, look. They started all that drama with the Reaper. Now the Reaper after them and they want to run away from the Reaper. You don't do stuff like that. All right. They gave this Reaper a bad, dirty offer multiple times. And I'm getting this Reaper rejected it multiple times because this Reaper can't get you. All right. This re is like this Reaper can't get to you the way this karmic think that they can't, all right? Because this reaper sees the real you and see your protection. This karmic can't. So that what makes them stupid, okay? Because it's like they can't even see that, you know, this reaper can't get you because you're protected. They, it's like they can't fathom that you're protected, okay? They can't get it, all right? They won't get it, all right? So that's why the reaper was rejecting them. It's like eventually the reaper got tired of them with this played out energy, and they were still chasing after this reaper. So this reaper started attacking their family, started going off on their family. You know, going off in the sense of causing haywire and chaos in the family. Because it's like, if you don't want to take my warnings, I'm going to warn you through your family. And they were still kissing ass to the Reaper. Trying to get the Reaper to do these things to you. And you was dodging all bullets. Y'all need to check out my reading when I said they try to send you a Reaper. You have a pack of Reapers protecting you. Those Reapers are your ancestors now. Your ancestors know how to make a person reap what they sow. So this is why this reaper can't get you. That's one reaper uh, up against a thousand and millions reapers, including God. There's no way they can get to you. This comic also didn't realize God really do protect you. And if they did know and still tried you, they're stupid. All right, but you dodge all bullets. And you're moving in silent in the cosmos. They can't see you. They can't find you. All right, so now if this is a female, then she's mad. She wants to fight you now because her black magic ain't working. And with this jackpot, I'm getting it's like you, you're... You have, like, a lot of spiritual gifts with this jackpot. I'm just getting you hit the jackpot with your gifts. I don't know why I'm getting your gifts with the jackpot. All right? It's, it's like, oh, yeah, hit it on the nail. Intuition. Your intuition hit the jackpot. Yes, your intuition told you that this karmic wanted to fight you. This karmic friend wanted to fight you over her, over you knowing that she did black magic. And now she's trying to say, well, you did it because you know that I did it. That's childish thinking. And that's them being in fear. All right? The fear of them no thinking okay because they think that they know but it's a thought okay the thought let me explain it better all right the thought of okay you doing it in return is what put them in fear and that fear is what made them retaliate they was in their shadow aka their ego your ego protects you but you got some people with crazy ass egos where they will just you know jump the gun jump to conclusions and start attacking every damn body who they think is after them that's also a person that project their own inner demons on other people okay honestly that's what they do that's the god honest truth and you hit it on the nail. And they're mad because you know, well, you found out. Okay, not just know, but you found out they was doing these things to you behind your back. You didn't appreciate it. They wouldn't appreciate it. And clearly they didn't. That's why they're trying to attack you in return. It's like this karmic is not making sense. They're not making sense. It's like how dare they say that you're doing it in return and that's why they did it to you, all right, because that pissed them off, all right? But how dare they say that you don't have a right to be mad at them in return, okay, because... Of whatever they did to you. And I guess because it didn't work. That's why they feel like you shouldn't be mad. But it's like it goes both ways. The same way how they'll get mad if you did it to them. You'll get mad if they did it to you. Alright. And you're going to find out about it. It's like it's just a lot going on. Okay. Just a lot going on you guys. I don't even think I explained that last part the way I wanted to. But oh well. Just know this karmic is an impersonator. And they wanted to fight you because you found out that they were stealing your energy. And it, it, it doesn't make sense because if it, it was the other way around, okay. Mm -mm -mm. Not even if it was the other way around. All right. It's, it, what I'm getting is that this karmic don't have a right to be mad because you have every right to be mad because they was wrong. Them wanting to fight you because you found out that they were stealing your energy doesn't make sense. Then that's why I'm I'm probably trying to I'm try probably trying to that's why why I'm having a hard time trying to explain this. You see how it's coming out? This karmic what they're saying don't make sense. Okay. Is is it's just not making sense. And I'm getting you didn't want to fight this karmic, but they projected out to you that they wanted to fight you, so you felt like you had to defend yourself. Okay? That's what I feel like it, it is. That's what I feel like it was. And it's like they're mad at that too. But they said they wanted to fight you because you found out about them stealing your energy. It's not they wanted to fight you because you were stealing their energy. No, because they were doing spell work on you. Okay, it's just none of it makes sense, you guys. None of it makes sense. 
Okay, none of it makes sense. And, and this karmic is just a user. They just wanted to marry you for money, I'm getting. They just wanted to marry you for money. And if this is a friend, she just want to sleep around for money. She's not really taking life seriously. All right, she could be mad at you because you're choosing to, you know, love yourself and wait on that perfect person. Or you could be with your person, all right? And, you know, you guys, it's like she's waiting on love all in her head, thinking about how you hit the jackpot in love and how she's lonely. I can't make it up. I can't make it up. It's like these karmics is waiting for something, waiting for these bad things to happen to you, and it's never going to happen. They're very childish because their childish ass is still thinking that, you know, the shit is going to manifest on you after all this shit that hit the fan on their side. As far as them getting caught up, the shit backfiring, they still thinking it's going to manifest. They're childish. They're crazy. Something is wrong with them. This is a, 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 a I'm getting a small case. Okay, so I'm with that small case, I'm getting you never dealt with someone like this before. Most likely, you're not going to deal with someone like this ever again. All right, that was a huge lesson learned. But I'm getting, this is like, a, I'm also getting a rare case. A rare case of like crazy, a household full of crazy people. You just, like they all got demons on them. They all got demons in their head. And they all just fed up with each other. They all want to kill and fight each other. All right, and that's why they creep on you and other people. All right, because they want to get away from their life problems. All right, and they see you unfazed and they get all mad. With this haunted, they start thinking about the memories of how they try to send you black magic to get you uh, to get you phased and you're unfazed. They start having flashbacks of all their traumas and shit, and they want to put it on you. They they was obsessed and hooked on on you and 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 putting you down as the criminal. They are the spiritual hater, and they were smiling in your face, being two faced. It. It's almost like they say you was giving them face sm fake smiles, so they decided to attack you with black magic, and it was the other way around. Not only did they give you smake fake smiles like a snake okay but they was also being a, a spiritual hater and they were just wasting their time they literally wasted their time literally no changes has been made for this karmic and none of their black magic changed your life all right all they do is party they don't take life seriously all right and, it, and if this is a friend this is why you moved on from them all right, because they're not taking life seriously they were just stagnating you they was holding you back all right y'all could have lived together and you moved out because you know, their energy was stagnant. And they got mad. And they want you back. Either as a friend or a lover. They want you back. They want y'all to live together again and all of that. All right? They're, they're just a groupie, though. This friend is like a Jezebel. Straight up and down. And they was always conspiring against you since day one. To, to you know, they was conspiring against you to, to utilize it against you. All right? So it's, it's like to make your man run away with this boss daddy. They know that you found somebody good. And they was threatened by that. So they was like, you know what? I'm going to dig up some dirt on you to tell your person so he won't be with you again. All right? And they was doing black magic on this man, too, so he won't be into you. So he'll be into her. And, and you know what God and spirit did? Not this karmic owl to reflect on her karmic ways and to show her why she can't find a man that's into her like you. All right? Like how you found the man that's into you because she still wants to be a Jezebel. She still want to always party and be a groupie. I told y'all. And just be a groupie. And she just want to fuck with this man, all right, because she see how well he takes care of you. So she want that in return. No, bitch. You need to reflect on how you always party and how you're a groupie and you do black magic on everybody. She even the type to do black magic on other men to get them to give her money and shit. That's, that's, that's a groupie. You're not, you know, it, it's like you're not an impress doing that. But her mind, she thinks she's an impress and she thinks that she's not karmic, all right, by her doing this. Like, you're a hella karmic. That's why I say they're delusional because in your mind, you think that you're someone who you're not. That's karmic as hell to be a divination abuser. And this karmic know that they abuse divination on, on people who they feel like is a threat to them and other men, including you and your man. All right, she was crying over you since the moment you walked away from her ass. And all she did was talk shit about you, talk shit about your business, and talk shit about your creativity, and talking about how she's going to steal your creativity, steal your ideas and shit. What type of fuckery is that? Now she having nightmares on the shit that she created. All right? Having nightmares of the shit that she created. All right? It's like what's haunting her is how she was stalking you from fake accounts and you may know about it. That's all in her head. Okay? And it's like how you know is because you felt her energy fishing in your comments. All right? Fishing your comments here. Looking, looking you up and staring at your comments. That's how you know you felt it. All right? And you are still ignoring them. You're still not fucking with them. They could be carless. All right? They could have car issues right now and you you too busy winning. All right? You dust off all their spell work. You're still rising like a queen, stepping into your power, still being praised here. Okay? This is a very childish-ass karmic. 
they they think so childishly like like their mind is like a I'm I'm getting like they play with black magic like a toy like in their mind black magic like a toy and I'm getting their mind is like like I'm still on baby mode like I'm getting rattled like they they have a baby mind they don't comprehend things they don't connect the dots all right in the part of life you have to connect a lot the dots I'm getting the spirits did this to them because they was playing with black magic on you so the spirits had to stagnate them. They didn't even realize the spirits was working against them. It had nothing to do with you. It was the spirits working against them. They see, they too stupid to see it. They they have a huge ego too and a lot of pride. They they think the spirits would never do that to them because the spirits not doing it to you. But you and them are two different people. All right, you're not being a divination abuser. Where's the car? Yeah, you're not being a divination abuser. You utilizing black magic on other people, man. All right, and and other females. You're not doing that. I don't care if she, all if she. Hollers and sings, that's what you do. I'm telling you guys, I see it. Y'all are not doing that, all right? You guys are not doing that. And I feel like if this karmic was to go to another psychic and see her, and that seer would say, I don't see this person doing this to you. I see them rising like the queen that they are. They will still say, you're a crazy psychic or seer. I know they're doing this. This is a delusional-ass person. They're like a delus This is like a delusional person on the run, on the loose. And they need to be put down, all right? Look, your karmic friend is wild. They're mad because you dust off their spell work. They're mad that they spell work ain't work on you and that you still you still too busy winning. They want to be winning too. <clears throat> they want to be doing their own thing too. These karmics know they're stagnant and held back from you. And they're like 10 steps behind you. They know it. All right, internally, they know that they're not on your level. That's why they come for you so hard. And people on the outside would never notice. If they're not connected with other people, all right, they would never be able to pick up this karmic true emotions. They're not a true, high, highly sensitive empath. All right? Honestly, not to be funny. I'm not being funny. I'm just being dead ass. Anyone around this karmic can't pick up on their ways. They, they're not connected. They're not in tune. All right, they're not even in tune with themselves because anyone higher self would not want you to be. Well, yeah, anyone's higher self would not want y'all to be all right, around a karmic friend. Your higher self is going to let you know that this shit here got to go. All right, this shit got to gotta trumple. If you're working with spirit, spirit not going to let you be around this karmic friend that's hating on you because you're reaching towards the top. No, your spirit guy's going to tell you to get out of that energy. They're facing a lot of bad karma for what they did to you here. They claim they still got screenshots that can incriminate you. All right, I'm getting... They have screenshots of them trying to, like... I, and this is the second time I'm getting this. All right, of a karmic... I got a karmic masculine was trying to process... Um, trying to make you a prostitute okay and i feel like they got screenshots here proving that you know that you was not proving no they have screenshots in their phone of them trying to like sell your body to someone i feel like that shit whoever they was talking to ghosted them and i feel like it was a dirty offer i feel like they're gonna get prosecuted for that i feel like they were also trying to prosecute you they said they got screenshots or messages of you saying this that, and the third to them but it's like it's looking like hearsay or just shit that you just said. It's like nothing really manifested. They're not dead. They're not sick. So it really doesn't matter. And they can't prove that you're the reason why anything happened to them. But they were trying to get you prosecuted from whatever text messages you said here. Okay? And I'm getting... They may get prosecuted for trying to sell your body over the internet. And, and you didn't even know. You didn't even know. For some of you guys, y'all was living with them. And they was trying to get you um, kidnapped. All right, sex trafficked, and you had to move up out of there. That's sad. They're disgusting. This is a disgusting person. This is why they're facing a lot of bad karma. They're disgusting as hell and disturbing, too. This energy is disturbing, you guys. All right, I'm getting anyone who finds this shit out will be disturbed by this karmic. Like, you did that? You really down for that? Yeah, even child services. Yup, they're facing a lot of bad karma for trying to call child services on you or for calling and then it, and it checked out to be opposite of what this karmic friend said. They don't want to face their bad karma, but it's attached to them. And it's real bad. All right? Them trying to get your children taken away. God did not like that. God don't like ugly. All right? They had no facts. I told you this shit checked out to be no facts. Non-factual. All right? And I feel like CPS could have even realized that this could have just been someone that was mad at you like a third party mad at you because cps is not stupid they know that they have people well karmics calling all right just so people can have a downfall and they call with lies they know it be mistresses jezebels third parties bad friends all right horrible mothers horrible family members 
All right, I'm telling y'all, look at this. It came out to be non-factual. This CPS case turned out to be non-factual. Never has the facts make shit up and lie. CPS know when a bitch is making up lies on someone else's kids because they done went through many cases of, of, of like with stuff like this when it turned out to be non-factual. I told y'all. I told you guys. All right, that's why this karmic friend has bad karma on their head. All right, because they thought that CPS was going to be a way to check you out of you rising into a queen. All right, and that was a slimy ass move because you already doing black magic. Why the fuck are you involving the government? Now the government going to be coming for you. If they got kids, they better chill out. All right, yeah, they, they, I feel like CPS realized that this karmic was just hating on you. All right, with this hustling behind romantic love affair. Like, this is somebody that's just getting fucked by their baby daddy. All right, and they want to take down the baby mama. Because the baby mama doing her and the baby daddy ain't paying her no attention. It's like God showed these people the truth about what was going on. All right, and that's why, you know, the shit turned out to be non-factual. It was, it's, oh my God. It's like I'm getting CPS be having like a lot of cases where it's like they, people will call in, but they don't act out on it. You guys, I lived in a shelter before. All right, and I talked with one of the caseworkers. All right, she drug tests all the girls. All right, and she said, you know, majority of the time, you know, the girls are dirty with marijuana. And we'll report it, but DCF don't act out on it. It's weed. It's, they're making it legal. They have dispensaries. Like, you can't take a person down for weed with their children. You can't. They're giving kids weed you guys the doctors are not giving them a joint but they're prescribing the marijuana so kids can stop having seizures all right so kids will be calm with their adhd or their add all right weed is medicinal shame on these karmics for ever trying to take you down for smoking marijuana because i feel like they could have tried to take you down for smoking weed too ain't like you smoking crack all right it's weed all right now they try to say that you neglect your kids that came out to be non that checked out to be non-factual not came out checked out to be non-factual and they're facing bad karma for it. I can't believe it. I can't get over it. It's like, I can't get over it. It's like, I'm seeing you guys gloating. All right, your high self could be gloating. You feeling real smug, nine of cups right now. All right, that shit came out to be non-factual. Okay, non-factual. Now they all in their head like, oh my God, extra paranoid now. Extra paranoid. If they smoking, it's making them 10 times worse. They're like, oh my God, oh my God. I can't believe this. Oh my God. Oh my God, oh, oh my God, and it was non-factual. They, they found out I'm a lie, that I'm a lie, I'm gonna go to jail, all these different things. Yeah, like, why would you do that? Knowing that you ain't have no facts, all right? It's like they wanted to keep scaring you, sending you projection of, oh, CPS is coming, CPS is coming, and it, and it turned out to be non-factual. Actually, checked out to be that you love your kids, okay? And it was just a third party doing this shit. And some of you guys, the third party was dumb enough to give her name, all right? Like I told you on my last read. All right, they should have made better choices. All right? Mm-hmm. And if this is a karmic ex, they, they had multiple lovers, and, and one of their lovers was crazy. It was a crazy-ass groupie that wanted to take you down. All right? This could be your baby dad who had a crazy-ass groupie that tried to take you down. All right? And she was trying to cop block you, your baby daddy, and your children. All right? She would prefer that your baby daddy had the kids over you having the kids. That's how badly she wanted you out of the picture. And the shit backfired on her ass. All right, and she was she does not want you to be an idol. She's afraid of you being an idol. She wanted to cop block your 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 spotlight. It's like you're in the energy of I don't need my baby daddy. All right, this is the energy that I'm in. I don't need him anymore. All right, he's mad, and she want to take out, you know, she want to help him take his anger out on him, on you. There we go. She want to help him take out his anger out on you. Help him take out his anger out on you. <laughs> All right, by trying to screen look with this cyber bully and photo proof. Getting evidence. I'm getting screenshots again. She was cyberbullying you by trying to gain evidence and, and take screenshots of your page, channel, whatever. Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, whatever you post. All right. Whatever, you know, you post about your children or whatever. Or even taking pictures of your children from social media. Whatever she tried to do. She tried to utilize the shit against you. I'm getting shit that you was posting. All right. She figured that was a good way to try to send you to jail. All right. And I, and she felt like she felt like it was going to work. It was And it was delusion. She figured, hey, that's the jackpot that's going to send you to jail. And it was all delusion. It was all in her head. She looked obsessive. Even law enforcement could have said, you look crazy. Okay. You don't look right. Y'all, don't ask me how I'm picking up all this stuff. It's just I'm blessed and highly favored, okay? Because I'm picking up. Some people be asking, like, well, sending projections of how can you pick up all of this. 
I'm just blessed enough to see it. And a lot of other readers can too. Okay? But you guys are hustling. That's your ebb and flow. Hustle. And you're unbothered. All right? You know these karmic energies just want to use you for money. All right? And they be fake flexing. So they want to come to you so they can really flex. So they won't have to fake flex. And you traveled away from that. They was toxic. With this bad habits. They was toxic. All right? They was like, they was addicted to you. All right? Your bad addiction as well is that they wanted you to be addicted to them. Hell yeah. All right, yeah, they they wanted you to catch a case. They wanted you to catch a case with your ch with your child. They even try to say that you have a man in the house. All right, with your kids that's abusing your kids. That and look, that was ghosted. That case, I'm getting it was ghosted because it was fake. With this dirty offer, it didn't sound real. All right, did not sound real. It's like CPS is trained to. I'm not gonna expose too much. All right, but just know they're trained. Okay, they know what to listen for in these calls. They know someone that's telling the truth. And, 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 and half the time, it's like, you guys, just know whoever did this shit. I'm not about to expose too much. Just know whoever did this shit, they're going to be bankrupt. They're going to be bankrupt. All right? I'm getting these karmics, man. They was doing CP, um, magic on the CPS workers. These karmics are stupid. They don't realize. They don't realize that these people are protected. Even CPS workers. You don't know what type of work they do outside of CPS. Even if it worked on other people, if that don't mean that's that result going to happen for you. And if it did work for someone, all right, it was either justifiable or that shit was rectified, all right, not too long after. There's a lot of people who, who done work on other people and it worked for a little bit and then the shit either backfired the next day or a few days later or it was rectified. The spirits fix, fixed it. The spirits couldn't, you know, make it in time to, you know, to stop whatever it was putting out there. It does happen, but not all the time. That's why this karmic try to make sure if they send out enough energy, spirit will, will, will be able to block all of them. One of them will be able to get through and none of them got through. This karmic is a player. Whoever this person that tried to play CPS, all right, they about to get played by the government. They about to lose something. This is sad here. And I'm even getting, they was even trying to like call CPS on an update. You, you don't, what? They was even calling CPS to get an update to see if your kids was taken away. That's how obsessed they were with trying to get your kids taken away from you. They looked obsessed. All right, they sounded obsessed. They were just talking shit about you. They wasn't speaking any facts. All right, now they're going to have to move here. This person that was like, that had something over their brain, I'm getting, there was some type of fog over their brain that was possessing them. They couldn't see shit clearly. All right, it was like a demon or a spirit that they like have some type of, love for they may love it they enjoy working with it it possessed them it worked on them that shit backfired on their asses and made them possessed all right now they don't have that demon no more they lonely all right or that spirit that entity whatever it is they cares about you and still confused they confused as to like how you figured out about their wicked ways and they trying to say i didn't mean it like that and they didn't mean it like that they just mad that you figured it out okay and yes that's exactly what they how they mean it i just heard a karma say what you mean Oh, I ain't mean it like that. Yeah, that's what you said. You ain't mean it like that. All right? And and you need to ask yourself, what does that mean? That you didn't mean it like that. What you didn't mean to do black magic? You didn't mean for your intuition to be wrong? Like what? And then once you answer that question, all right, do the work necessary. So you can make sure you don't make that mistake again so you won't be saying, I didn't mean it like that. Okay, karmic? All right, but your light did irritate they demons. And now they're facing a lot of legal issues, karma. For trying to mess with your light and your demons. Because your, your demons protect you. Alright? Your dark side. Your darkness is supposed to protect you. Alright? Read about darkness. Alright? Not demons. Alright? Read about darkness and your own inner demons. Your own shadows before you start shunning me for saying for saying what I just said. Alright? Because there's a lot of people that not utilize their dark side real well. But they not tapped into light. Alright, I'm tapping into light and dark, but I don't utilize my dark on other people. Alright, I will shut my door and lock it and never open it up again. That alone is a curse for you because you know you want to come back into my life and you can't. You can't. I feel like, no offense to anyone that hex, but I just feel like, you know, you don't know how to protect yourself, you know, on your own. Alright, if you have to hex somebody. All right, so in order to stop them. All right, you don't know how to set your own boundaries. All right, you it's nothing wrong with utilizing utilizing the spirits to protect you, protect your home and stuff. They will do the rest. You know, but if you have to go out your way to hex or curse someone because you fear of them doing something again, it's like you giving them your power. 
All right, and all you're doing is just keeping the cycle open by putting a hex on them because if you know that they're intuitive, powerful, or they're going to find out one day, it's just going to make them want to retaliate. That's why I don't do black magic. I have so many people look at me and be like, you do black magic. And it's like, what's it to you? You get what I'm saying? That's how I feel like... Our, first of all, our ancestors did black magic to defeat the French and, and the motherfuckers in America, okay? And we slaughtered their asses too. Second of all, black magic was demonized, okay? Third of all, black magic is used for protection, all right? And if you are at war, you have a right to hex or curse, all right? But you don't go around telling people you're at war and you hexing somebody because they're going to look at you as a witch. You get what I'm saying? I made that mistake before and I'm not doing that again. You know, and I thought they was going to take it in the sense of, you know... I'm protecting myself. I figured they come from that culture or whatever like that. You know, they know about magic, okay? But they looked at me as a witch and, like, I was doing something to them. So I, I, I closed the door on that. I'm not even opening up about, you know, spirituality to anyone anymore just because of that one projection. Because I don't need anyone thinking that I'm hexing them. I don't have time for that. That's a lot of energy, you guys. And I know energy takes place when you manifest. You need energy, all right, we are made up of energy. We have our own energy that is around us. All right, that projects to others. All right, that's you know that in, that's inflecting others. You know that's why we have to make sure our energy is concealed and we are careful. All right, we 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 want to make sure that you know we're not thinking too hard on the person to the point where they're feeling it. You know what I'm saying? Like they feeling us thinking or talking about them or whatever like that. Okay, but we're balanced here, so we know right. But just putting it out there. But, um, yeah, it's like, what's it to you, right? I don't do black magic, but it's like, if a person does do it, I'm not mad at them. You know, just don't try to hex me or be in your crazy delusional mind thinking I'm hexing you, so you're going to hex me in return because you're going to start war and you're not going to win this war. I'm telling you, just because I was in the right from the start. But, I mean, not picking up my wand or going to my altar, right, to do black magic. Okay, so, yeah. That's how you remain blessed, by, by having a righteous heart, mind, and soul. Okay? I'm not saying it's wrong to hex or curse. If, you know, if you feel guided to do that in order to protect yourself, okay, then yeah. But if you are going off on a limb... Or on a whim, right? And you're just crazy in your mind, hexing and cursing everybody who you feel is doing it to you. You need, you need to do some inner work, okay? There's some shit on you that you need to fight off. And the magic, the hexing and cursing others is not going to get it off of you, okay? But y'all take that how it resonates for you. Okay, I'm just saying, you know, these karmas are broke. The last time they effed with you was the last time. All right, it's like they really see how their spells is not working for them and how they're broke. I'm getting they're gonna forever be in this state. All right, this 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 ebb and flow of broke ass. Okay, they're gonna forever be in that ebb and flow of broke ass. I'm telling you. All right, because that was the, the last spell they did was the last spell they ever gonna do. All right, it, it was like a total karmic ass spell. That shit was just wild. Like, why are they still doing this? That's the energy that is giving back to them. Like, why are you still doing this? All right, you still caught up. If this is the third party, you still caught up on that that karmic ass masculine who's attached to divine feminine and masculine. Okay, well, divine feminine, I should say. Okay, and if you're masculine, if this is a, a female third party, she's being checked. Like you still attached to somebody who moved on from you. Let it go, <laughs> girl. Yeah, the ego hurt. Yeah. Yeah, the ego beginning the way of the um relationship. Of the relationship. All right. People ego, aka they dark side, be getting in the way of the relationship. They don't know how to tap into light. It's like you and your person both have to embody light. All right. No. <coughs> in order for y'all to really ascend properly, you can't be in light and they always in shadow. All right. It's okay for you to be in light and them in shadow because that is balanced, but they always in shadow here. It's like eventually they're going to be pulling on your light in order to hold themselves up. Like they have to eventually get themselves balanced so they can embody light too. Okay. So they can embody light too, you guys. That's what the twin flame is all about. You and your person both embodying light. All right, you he don't or she don't, right? Your, your twin <laughs> don't need its dark side anymore. Y'all both need each other's light to hold each other up. All right, most soulmates are in that 
light and dark connection, okay? I would, you know, even twin flames too, yeah, but most of the times, most twins, most high vibrational twins are both embodying light. And that's the main goal of the twin flame journey, all right, is embodying light. I mean, a twin flame drama, there's so much drama behind the twin flame, nobody really know what's real or right, or right with the twin flame. You just have to feel it and go with your own flow. Y'all can't be coming in your coffin. Yeah, this karmic saying they have screenshots proving you're a prostitute here. They was tripping on you. They that's low IQ. It's like they created some type of false allegation. They created this false allegation here. They created some type of evidence. All right, it could have been a false message proving, you know, I'm okay. This is what I'm getting. They created like a false text message. Proving that you was asking them for money through sex. That was not even you. They did way too much. They don't realize how crazy that makes them look. They probably thought they was intelligent. They was wise. I'm so smart. I figured it out. And and that's far from it. That's like so far-fetched. That like this karmic mind is so far-fetched. All right, from the truth. All right, and it's like, this is someone that goes after people that is way in ab above and beyond their league. And I'm getting you was way, um, they was way out of your league here, okay? That's what I should say. That they go for people that is, who is out of their league. Or they go to people who they won't, uh, basically they'll go to people who won't talk to them. Alright, that's what I'm getting. People who look at them like, oh, I'm way out of, you're way out of my league. Like, uh-uh. I hope I said it right the first time. But either way it goes, this person was out of your league. You was not supposed to fuck with them. Uh-uh, at all, because they're karmic and they come with so much family issues and drama and stuff, like, no, you, you can't mingle with someone like that, all right, you can't, all right, the moment they tell you that they got this problem, that problem, mommy, daddy, daddy issues, mommy issues, all right, it's like, you know you have to let that go, I ain't done yet, though, y'all, I ain't pulling any tarot. Let's pull some of these soul journey cards. Okay, you guys are focusing on soul growth at this time, which is wonderful. Yeah, and that soul growth is going to lead you to peace. This is real. I feel like y'all was around a karmic that don't believe in soul growth leading to peace. And it's like we obviously know that doing the work inside is going to help expand your outside. It's like you can't just sit around and do nothing and be nothing and expect change to happen. All right? And, ugh. Anyway, you guys are also working on accepting yourselves. I'm getting better health. You accepting you, your true self, is going to keep you in a better health here. It's like you need to remain happy and healthy. Spiritually happy and healthy. That's what I'm getting to maintain balance. You can't be around people that's going to cause you an imbalance here. Wow, okay, spirit just showed me. If you haven't been feeling spirit around lately, it's because they was at battle and they was at war. Battle and war, okay? Battling and warring the karmic and... This karmic loss, they lost big time. But it's like spirit got to get themselves out of that energy too. It's like it's almost like spirit got to clean up the battlefield, clean up the mess too. All right. This karmic didn't know that spirit can clean up the mess. They didn't know that. Mm -mm. But spirit was still sending you energy to keep you balanced and happy and whole. All right, to remind you to stay happy. Yeah, spirit was sending you reminders to stay happy. All right. Work on your, your shadow, all right? Work on your healing so you can remain peaceful and happy and healthy while we are away at battle. We still protect you. It's almost like spirit have two hands, obviously. One hand was fighting them, and the other hand was protecting you, all right? And then you had God hands doing a lot of the heavy and dirty work, all right? Ooh, wee! Y'all just don't know how protected y'all are. Y'all just don't know. This karma thought they was going to get you. All right? They, and they kept thinking that for a long time. I'm hearing this karmic masculine, specifically. For a long time, they thought they was going to um get you. All right? And trust me, they're not. That was what Spirit just said. Trust me, they're not. This karmic is getting exposed. And they didn't want to get exposed. They so scared. It's like this karmic would rather kill themselves than get exposed for the truth. It's like the truth is that bad. But hey. The truth will set you free. So maybe they'll feel, you know, free by just doing that to themselves. It, it, it will also expose the truth. Like, clearly you did some shit wrong if you're killing yourself. Most people who commit suicide is running from their own demons. 
It's like this karmic don't think people around them is smart. They think everyone around them is stupid and they're the only smart one. All right, and that's an insult to other people. Like, honestly, that's an insult. Yeah, they'll fail. I feel like this karmic heart is going to stop. Whoever this karmic is, their heart is going to stop. Their health is bad, and that's what they're afraid of. And that's why they, it, it's like, okay. Woo! Some of you guys are readers, and you may talk about this stuff in your readings. And this karmic was trying to say, you you see, this is how I know you're doing it to me because you're saying it in your readings. But it's like, and I'm getting to even show people you know, these stuff. And people around them won't really see what they're saying. Well, what they're trying to say about you. I feel like, you know, people felt the guilt coming from this karmic. It's like they had to do something in order for them to even feel this way about you as far as, like, you coming for them. All right? Them watching your readings and saying, oh, this match up to what I was feeling. That, first of all, that's karmic and dangerous as hell for them. All right? Because they know that your energy is, like, it's, okay, this is what I'm getting. That's dangerous for them because it's like Spirit is saying, if they know you know good for, for them, why are they watching you? They're crazy. That's what people looking at them like, you're crazy. You need to like move on and get over this situation. I'm getting people are telling them this shit and it's making them sad because that's not the reaction they want. They want people to go after you, to, to attack you, and people are not doing that anymore. In the past they did, but not no more. Okay. People can go out and seek the truth themselves anyway. So they don't need this karmic to tell them the truth. All right. Oh, you guys got, man, outside of all this karmic stuff and what's going on with this karmic, y'all got balance and abundance coming in. A part of that ship, you know, part of things balancing out for you is your abundance. I, I almost said ships. Your ships are coming in. That ship is balanced in abundance. I'm telling y'all. All right. From this karmic drama, you're about to get, receive a payout. All right. A settlement. All right, for going through all of this here, and part of your settlement is you growing and expanding from this. All right, yo, in Luke, look, you expanding with your purpose. You expanding with your purpose. You're growing with your purpose. You guys, it's like these karmas are trying to make you walk backwards or try to make you walk away from your purpose. And I'm seeing you circling and recirc re wait wait recircling and recycling back to your purpose. All right, it's like I'm getting repeat a life cycle. I'm getting you're going okay. These karmics were trying to make you like, no, 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 not these karmics. I'm seeing them trying to make you repeat a karmic cycle, but I'm getting a life cycle. It's like you're going to complete this life cycle again here, okay? You're going to complete your purpose again, and you're going to grow again in the next lifetime, but I'm not getting you like passing or anything like that. No, it's like your service, like you're going to do this again in the next lifetime. If they were trying to like block your purpose from all lifetimes, like future lifetimes, I should say, you're going to do it again, all right? Yeah. Damn, I was like really, oh gosh, okay, good. Because that scared me with that recycle. Like, you guys are going to re, oh, wow. Oh, yeah, and I was getting death. Okay, thank you, Spirit. That's why I got a little fearful. And I picked this up about myself today, and I feel like this applies to you guys because we're all connected. You know, one of my, um, one of the readers that I went to, she told me that, you know, I recycled in life a lot. Like, I passed over and re and reincarnated again into a new um, lifetime. And I figured, you know, that happened because I was pretty much dying before I was meant to. Okay? Like, is there's no way I lived a full life if I was passing and then recycling again. So, I feel like, you know, that's what the case with you guys is like, your past few lifetimes in the past you really couldn't fulfill your purpose the way you wanted to all right or you you couldn't fully fulfill it because of like karmic masculines and this one specifically but i feel like this lifetime you're going to be able to fulfill your purpose okay and i feel like in the ancient times you was fulfilling your purpose too but in between like okay when the when the dark ages came about the age of Pisces, all the way up until now, since we shift into the age of Aquarius, I feel like you really have not been able to fulfill your purpose and live a full life. But your ancestors worked really hard for you to clear up a lot of karma so you can live a full life. I feel like you're going to fulfill your purpose this time because ancient times is coming back and God is here. All right. You could have even been blocked. No, and I'm not going to say you were blocked from Christ. No, but it's like 
The same way how these karmas try to block you this lifetime from Christ, they did the same thing in the past life. All right? And maybe your bond with Christ wasn't as close as it is now. Okay? Y'all take it how it resonates. But just know, um, Christ for me is, is I'm thinking of God. Okay? Y'all can be challenging Jesus too, but I'm thinking of God. Okay? I always think of God when I, when I say Christ. Okay? Because that's the Christ consciousness that I connect with. All right? But, um, yeah, you guys, um, just take it how it resonates. <laughs> I forgot what I was saying. All right, but nonetheless, God is here. I'm getting this karmic is afraid of death. Look at the bottom of the deck. Look at the bottom of the deck. Death over love. Listen, this karmic should have chose love over death, love over envy. Look at this. Look at this. They're afraid of dying. I'm getting you chose love over death. All right? That's what I'm getting. You chose love. It's like you have love here. Your life is, is, is like your heart. You have life. This karmic have death. I'm getting their purpose is ending. All right? Because they have death following them. And you have love. You're growing and expanding. And this is the energy that they was trying to take from you. They was like look, looking at you and like, oh, that's supposed to be for me. That's my energy. I'm going to grow and I'm going to live while you're going to die. Like, honestly, they may even watch other readers. And other readers will pick this up. Like I said, you could be a reader. You will say this in your reading. They will say the opposite is going to happen. They'll say, that's going to happen to me, and that's what's going to happen to you. They was envying you. And this is why they're being taught a lesson, and if them losing their life is what's going to, you know, teach them this lesson, then so be it. All right? But there's guilt following their asses. They have a lot of shit that they have to, you know, pay for. They on the hot seat. They on the hot seat. They're being judged. Oh, yes. Honest. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Honestly, yes. And they may think it's you doing it, but it's not you. It's the cosmos. It's cosmic changes. They have to get caught. They have to get exposed here. They had too much pride. All right? They had too much pride and fear. That's ego. All right? Well, I'm not going to say ego is fear. No, but your ego do govern fear. Your ego could put somebody in fear, and your ego can put you in fear. Okay? But they was in pride and ego. Pride and fear. Pride and fear. Pride and fear. They hated to see you win, and they hated to see you with someone else, all right? Yep, they hated to see you free, fulfilling your life purpose, all right? Doing your service here, all right? I see a lot of coins coming in for you, all right? And you was happy, too, and it was, oh, wow, they hated that, all right? They wanted to put it into your coins coming in here. Listen, they got a lot of grief and worry over their heart. Damn, it's like they don't know what else to do but die a part of them feel like that like i have no other choice but to die i don't know what else to do but die and it's like this is not you wishing this on them this is how they feel it's like honestly people around them like i said could have once thought that you was doing this to them because they was talking this way all right and telling them you was, that they was feeling this way and they figured it was because of you but people need to really sit back and think like you got to be thinking this way. Ain't no way in the hell somebody can make you feel like you want to die. You just want to, you know, leave this earth. Like, you want to feel that way. Even if someone is doing black magic, you're strong enough to not do it. You get, right? Because I know people done tried it. And I know I'm smart enough to not take myself out. I have children, first of all. Yeah, strong, courage. We're stronger than that. And if this karmic claims that they're stronger than you, then how the hell could you also make them feel like they want to kill themselves? Or you 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 put them in a state of fear to where they want they don't want to live anymore. Like you can't no. That's their own energy. That's if they was playing with death spells, that's their death spell circling back around on them. They shouldn't because they should not be doing it. That's why it's circling back. Because they should not be doing that. Alright, and the spirits, the gods and the goddesses, and God himself told them this. Do feeling, warnings, whatever intuition they did have. All right, they was mad. And this is a friend. She was mad that you set free, so she tried to kill you. And now her death spell hovering over her. She's thinking that nah, this, I would have never thought this would happen to me. That's what she said. I could have never thought this would happen to me. This was never supposed to happen to me. That's what she's saying. All right, but it did. Look, and then she's trying to blame you because she figured this was never supposed to happen to her. All right, but it did happen because she put that energy out there. She feel like the spirits is laughing at her now, and I feel like the spirits are. The spirits left her. The spirits left her to help make you successful, you guys, honestly. The spirits chose you over this friend, and I feel like that's why she was mad in the first place. Because you was chosen, or more chosen than her. All right, you're chosen for success, and she was denied. I'm telling you, she was denied. And, and with this imagination, she was all in her head. About how she's denied and you're approved. Okay? She just couldn't accept it. 
All right, and it's like she accepted it a little bit too late because she already put enough bad energy out there to where it's like the spirits don't respect her. All right, she was jealous of your spiritual service too. That's what I'm getting because you, it's like you're doing a lot better than her. Your light is shining a lot brighter than hers. That's just what it is. And she tried to block, you know, your intuition and your mind and other people's mind so people won't see the, the truth about it, the truth, the real truth in the, in the, in the facts. That's why it could have been like people believed her for a while because she just spelled it to block the truth. The right from block people from seeing the truth about her. And it shouldn't backfire now because she can't do that anymore. All right, she already did the spell. She won't have enough energy to do it anymore. It's like typically when karmics do one spell, they don't have enough energy to do the next spell. You're just going to be feeling straight projection. That will eventually drive you crazy. That's why you have to keep your energy clear. All right, but you're happy. You're happy overall. Even though I just explained all this shit, you're still happy. All right, because none of this shit worked on you and you're still chosen. You're still blessed and you see the truth. All right, other people that see the truth about this karmic should be happy as well because now they got themselves out of it. But they could feel bad with this grief. They could feel bad. All right, yeah, they want forgiveness. I can't make none of this shit up. But this orange, I'm getting emotion. All right, this is the emotion that they're feeling. You're right, because that's the chakra chakra. All right, emotion, rule chakra. And they feel in grief and they want forgiveness. They want to heal. Orange is also happy, a happy color. They want to heal. Some of you guys are working with dragon blood. Some of you guys are working with a tin can. What? Some of you guys, because it says here, metal tin is good for, the metal tin is good for the chakra. <coughs> Y'all can put a tin can on your altar. And you can use that tin energy, that metal the material of the ten to bless your chakra. All right, yes, you can do that. Uh-huh, accept your gifts, accept your power. You guys have too much power. And I feel like, you know, that is what's making it so hard for you to accept. Even your dark powers, you have a lot of dark powers. Like, you can suck someone alive. Like, they're so alive. Like, you can suck, like, I'm getting, you can suck someone's soul while they're alive. And that's, like, their soul part, okay? You, you know we have huge soul parts. If a person pisses you off enough, you could do that. All right, but I'm getting a lot of y'all don't, but that's just a connected with your dark side. Now, like I said, if you are in fear of the dark, you have to leave because I don't need you calling me a witch because of that. All right, that's just a defense mechanism. Like I said, black magic is protection. All right, and if somebody is trying to intimidate you and God gave you that power and that right to have control of other souls, you have a right to take their soul part. They have, and especially if they are um, below you, they have to respect you. They have to honor you. You have spirits like Papa Legba, Mama um, Baruki, right? I hope I said that name right. I always, you know, I'm, I always stumble their names. But you have spirits like them that have control of the dead, of the undead, of other of souls and spirits. Okay? But I'm just getting, like, you know, you guys are very powerful. So I know it's maybe hard for you to accept all your gifts and take your time. Build a relationship with your gifts. All right, yeah, with this imagination, build a, a connection with your subconscious, with your crown. Build a relationship, build a connection, a relationship in the sense of, you know, you'll know how and when to use your gifts because you're connected with it. All right, and, and, and they'll know how to work for you, okay, because it's all energy. All right, and that energy that you feel is what gives you that sensitivity, that feeling, all right, that aha moment, okay, the energy that you're feeling from the person, the cards, or whatever. Even when people say certain things, you can pick up on, like, like certain key words in people's conversations and, and certain shit that they'll say can give you downloads and confirmations of other shit that they said about you behind your back that you don't know. Okay, that happened to me a lot. Like, a person will say, I gave this example before. They will say the word the. Like, you know what, you know what, that, or oh, no, I ain't saying that's not the, that's that. <laughs> uh... The girl said, you know what the girl said, and then that the will tune me into what the girl said, all right, but also what they said, okay, yes, people, gifts, and powers are that powerful, all right, because it's energy, words are energy, so that, so there's energy behind the word the, and spirit wants me to see that energy behind it, and plus, we got to understand when we interact with people, right? And if this person was talking about me with the girl, all right, there's guilt following behind that conversation or that sentence because they was talking about me with the girl. So then in their mind, they're worried about me finding out about what the girl, you know, what she said about me with the girl. This is all subconsciously, right? This is all subconscious. Okay, I hope you guys are following me. Okay, and understand we 99.9% .9 in our 
subconscious we act on our subconscious so when a person is trying to hide something you will feel and in, in, sense their guilt and certain shit that they say will expose it all right but because it's energy behind their words okay and i just try to break it down to you guys how that makes sense okay but i give things for you guys always i do i love y'all so much y'all keep me you know positive and afloat just by you guys saying y'all positive things in y'all in the comments all right telling me that i resonate i love it so much and you know how i do help you guys see the truth i appreciate those comments i do i love y'all i know i go off and i'll do focus on the bad a little bit too much but i'm working on myself you know just because you know i'm human you know i didn't like what i was going through with the warfare and, and the results of certain things all right but i'm accepting and I'm realizing that I'm going to grow from this. And this is just a phase in the cycle that I have to accept. Period. Point blank. Okay. All right. I feel guided to pull some of these as well. I'm going to just pull a few. I promise. It's not going to be too long. And I'm going to chill for the rest of this Sunday. I got a celebrity read that's going to be uploaded for um, members only. Okay. My mom was like, do celebrity reading for your members. So I'm like, okay, I will. All right, I should do um, Zodiac reads, too. Well, soon I will. Let's see, you guys. Let's see what fortune you guys have. Okay, listen. With this constancy, all right, this is someone that is loyal, faithful, holding it down here. And I'm getting your third eye. Your third eye be holding it down for you. Your third eye is, like, loyal to you. That's why I say y'all have a connection with... Y'all, um, y'all gifts. Your third eye sense when some shit is off. Somebody could have sent you a projection that you're not a fortune teller here. And they can clearly see it. They just don't want to admit it. They hate it, actually. Whoever this person is, they hate, like, they hate knowing. No, I'm getting they hate admitting. Like, they'll hate to admit to you that you're right. All right? Or that you're a psychic. It's like they feel away. All right? They feel away, but they know you right here. <laughs> All right, your third eye be telling you the truth, though, okay? Yes, you guys can clearly see some people are not going to be fortunate, all right? Moving forward just because of how they dealt with you. And I'm seeing some people, they looked at you and saw, like, you're not going to be fortunate what you do. You're not going to make a lot of money. You're wasting your time. This could be like your craft. If you're a reader, all right? If you're a reader, they could be saying you're not going to be a fortunate reader. Most readers don't make a lot of money. They're not fortunate. That's wrong, actually. That's wrong. This is an enemy. If this is... If this is someone that's pretending to be a friend, they're really an enemy here. All right, this could be in that same common friend we exposed. But there's an enemy, all right, around you, okay, that feel like you're not going to be fortunate. All right, if you like a reader or whatever like that, they're doubting you. All right, and it's because I'm getting they lost. They went through some type of loss or they feel like <coughs> they lost their gifts. They don't have their gifts. All right, yeah, they could be spiritually sick. All right, that could be why their gifts are blocked. So they're trying to say you're not going to be successful. I do see you being very successful, you guys. I feel like you already are in your own way. All right? You just need to, like, embrace it. <clears throat> yeah, have more hope and have more faith. I feel like half of these karmas even believe that you're connected with God. It's like they believe that you could talk with God, all right, or that other people could. Yeah, I'm getting, yeah. It's like they're projecting, okay, this is their projecting. They're like, okay, people can talk with God, but they don't fully believe that you're pure enough. To, like, talk with God here. And now just a projection and a judgment. I'm getting if these people will actually get to know you. They'll see that you do communicate with God through your cards if you're a reader. Okay? Yeah, these people, they can't come towards you. It's like, it's a misfortune for them. All right? It's like they missed an opportunity with you. You did, It's not the other way around. It was a misfortune for them to not come towards you in, like, a better energy and a better light. Okay? It's like you don't care what they have to say it's like you're still going to do what you have to do and it's like i feel like that's what makes them mad all right yeah with this fidelity here somebody have a dog i'm picking that up all right it's like some of y'all was really faithful to this enemy their enemy but you was like faithful to them god wants you to know this truth i'm gonna read the bible here but some of you guys, this karmic may have said that they read the Bible here, or they could have told you that you need to read the Bible, or you could have told them to read the Bible, all right? Somebody needs to read the Bible here, or somebody is, like, trying to utilize the Bible as some type of proof about God, all right? But we already know that the Bible is, is plagiarized, okay? 
All right, and we have sweetheart. Yeah, you was really sweet to these people or this karmic, whoever this karmic is. They're very phony. All right, with this widow, they lost something. I'm getting their heart and soul. They could have lost their soul, lost their purpose, or they're jealous of you fulfilling your purpose. All right, yeah, and with this thought here, jealousy, I'm getting they may think about you a lot. All right, or this is just all of all of this that I just picked up was just how they thought of you. All right, I don't know if they still feel about feel. I don't know if they still feel this way about you now. Okay. Yeah. Some I'm getting somebody still wants, you know, you or this person to still think this way. All right, I'm getting clarity could have, you know, happened between you and this person, like some type of clarity. But there's someone that still is on demon time that want to keep y'all two at like odds. Okay, whoever this enemy is, they could have saw the clarity of you. And that's why I'm getting like they just thought this, but it wasn't true. But there's someone that wants them to believe that, you know, how they first felt about you was true or some shit like that. Y'all, it's some two-faced stuff going on. All right, I'll just be careful. I know it, it may sound confusing. All right, but it's only confusing if it don't resonate for you. It's only confusing if it don't resonate for, um, with you. My messages aren't confusing. I just feel like, you know, there's some karmics watching. Like I said before, karmics are watching tarot. Y'all watching, and y'all watching us, and we're not resonating with you because you're a karmic. Period, point blank. You need to learn your lessons and, and seek healing elsewhere. Okay? So, yeah get a few more yeah but this love came out reverse somebody did not have love for you in the beginning but they may have love for you now okay but i'm getting there's someone in the background that's still trying to keep them in that negative energy yeah they don't want them to like <coughs> visit you hang out with you talk with you or whatever like that <coughs> all right this could be a friend like i said and they may know the other karmic friend and that other karmic friend is trying to keep that friend an enemy of yours all right that's what i'm picking up all right, yeah, or this could be a lover trying to, you know, keep some type of energy going, some type of negative energy going here. All right, still projecting towards certain people that may see the truth about you now. All right, see the truth about you in the sense of, you know, they gain clarity. Like, it was just a projection or they just thought these things that was not true. All right. And this person is still trying to, like, send out messages that, you know, you are negative. All right. Okay, or that you still want them. So, yeah, that's what I'm getting. Yeah, judge. Somebody's judging you. What I'm also getting is that y'all have a female friend that has a lover. And this lover is, like, projecting to this friend that you want them. And you shouldn't hang around them. And I'm getting you. you I'm getting, first of all, you don't want this person. They think you want them, but you don't. All right? And it's like, even when, when you look at them... It's like you don't even look at them. That's what I'm getting. Because I'm picking up them saying even when, when you look at them, they can feel it. You don't look at them. They look at you. It's like they're telling on themselves. They look at you. You don't look at them. And if this friend was smart, she would see it's her fucking man. That's telling on himself subconsciously. All right? He just projected that demon onto you. He likes, listen, your friend, your, and this is a karmic friend. Your karmic friend lover likes you. Okay, and I don't feel like you like him. And he could be feeling some type of way. He could have even tried to put down, all right, behind her back. And you didn't say anything to her. You kept it to yourself. Yeah, some of y'all got into, like, some messy shit. All right, that's real messy. But y'all ain't say anything. Y'all kept it to yourself. But now he's trying to save his ass because he's scared you're going to go back and tell the friend. So he's like, don't hang around her because she want me. This person is a liar. And this is why they still trying to stir up that energy. All right? Because they're afraid of the truth coming out, of them looking at you. And they was. You wasn't looking at them. Ew. They was looking at you. Yeah. Let's not say this is, misfort this is misfortunate if this was a friend. And that turned your enemy over a lover. All right? It was misfortunate because this person lied. That le The lover lied. Okay? And if this is people that just judging you, whatever like that, it was just misfortunate because they judged you. And, and, and they was wrong. They, they had bad discernment. Not everyone is right. Now everyone's intuition is right. Just because you see someone else's intuition is right does not mean yours is going to be right. Maybe this person who has a, a correct inf um, intuition, maybe they came around you to inspire you to work on your intuition. Okay? Not to say your intuition is right, too, because all this shit would just manifest into a lot of misfortune. Like somebody thought of you, all right, was a misfortunate situation, a misfortunate thought, bad discernment. 
Okay, and I feel like it was jealousy involved too. This friend could have been jealous of your gifts. I'm telling you, this is a karmic friend, y'all. They ain't your friend. They are not your friend. Okay, I feel like y'all don't even be looking at this damn friend lover this way. Y'all don't even look his way. He be looking at you. Yeah, this is not your friend. They false. They're false. Okay? What I'm getting is that they projecting to you that, you know, yeah, you're a priest, you're a psychic, but behind closed doors, they be like, you're not a psychic. They don't believe it. Like, they'll give their money to someone else. They're very two-faced. I would not F with them. And they may not feel like... You know, what they're doing is wrong. And it's because they're karmic. Most karmics don't see through their ways. They don't want to change. All right? It's because they already started the mess. All right? They started the karmic mess. So they're just like, you know, I have to finish it. That's how they think. They may be trying to say you're just trying to be a priest or a psychic for money. Everybody got to make money. What they doing? What, what Are they doing what they doing for money? Or are they doing it for free? Who go to work for free? This is a service, you guys. So we got to stop utilizing that excuse of, oh, you're just doing it for money. That's that's ignorant, that's low vibrational, and that's petty. And you're small-minded. I'm telling you, this person is not your friend. I will keep them away. They are not your friend. Some of y'all may still got them in your energy. They're, uh, they're not your friend. People be lying on their intuition all the time. All right? They be thinking that they can outsmart you know, a high priestess, and they can't. Like, you don't think I see and know what you doing, silly boy? All right, or silly girl? You lying on me because you like me? Saying that your intuition said this shit? All right, and most likely they involve in the intuition because they see you spiritual. So they figure I'm going to utilize, utilize your spirituality against you. Yeah, look, you red face now? You blush face? You embarrassed? Honestly, like, come on. For some, I'm getting a redneck. For some of you guys, this could be somebody that's racist or talk talk down on people that's like of dark um, tone or complexion. All right? I'm getting for some of you guys, this could be someone that's dark skin talking about other dark skins. They may think that they a brown paper bag. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. But y'all got caught up in like a, a ignorant, messy situation. And I say ignorant because these people are ignorant. All right? So it turned the situation ignorant and, and, and toxic. All right, I need to take control of the will, too. Don't let these people lie on you. All right, I will curse this man out if I was y'all. Like, don't you ever in your effing life lie on me like that. I don't want you. You know I don't want you. I never even one time looked at you like I wanted you. All that stuff is, is just bare hearsay. Ain't no facts or truth or anything. I'm telling you, it's not your, this person is not your friend. They're not your friend. They're not your friend. They're confused. They don't know how to feel about you yet. All right? And for some of you guys, y'all been around them long enough for them to know how they feel about you. They're confused. You can't be around a bunch of confused people. All right? That want your energy. Tell them, I'm, let them keep playing. Let them keep playing around with you and your energy. If, you know, not, no if. Let them keep on. Okay? That shit gonna blow up on their asses. I'm telling you. Them spying, watching your page, talking about you. That's playing with your energy, man. So let them keep trying. Shit gonna backfire on them and in their problems. God don't play. They need to just chill. Mm mm. I was going to pull some other cards, too. My spiritual messages, yeah. My light worker oracle. I'm getting these cards can't even read cards. But they're trying to tell you how to be a card reader. What? That's how you, you know they ignorant. They These people, you got to laugh at them. You got to laugh at them. Man, sometimes I be thinking to myself, like, I wish I started my purpose a little bit after I met these karmics, okay? Because my karmics, man, they be all up in my business. Like, they be all up in it, and they piss me off. Like, just come ask me. Or you think I'm a lie to you? That's your problem. You need to work on yourself, all right? Because I'm not a liar. Not everyone around you is a liar. There's, that's impossible for God to align you with a bunch of liars. Who sets you up like that? Unless you set up your life to be chaotic like that, and no one is dumb enough to do that, okay? 
This karmic needs to just chill. And I'm getting they learning and feeding off of your energy too. Like they be learning spiritual stuff from you, but they want to talk about your spirituality. Who are they? They that's a disrespect. And then they I'm getting they also try to come to you for spiritual help. That's a disrespect right there. You see, I have friends like that. Using me for reads and then talking about me saying, oh, her readings ain't all that good. But then the next day you asking me, can you do a reading? If my readings ain't good, why are you asking me for a reading? Because you know my heart and my energy is pure. That's why. And I don't even like to read for people who I know. Honestly, I really don't because they get their feelings involved. They get an ego and be like, oh, she don't know what she's talking about. I don't deal with that type of stuff. And they hard down deal with it every day. And then they start to see the signs. And then they start to say, oh, you doing something to me. Like, y'all should see my face right now. Like, you are bad-ish crazy. Like, believe it or not. You won't know if someone's doing something to you, buddy. I'm telling you that. There's a lot of high priestesses out there that do work. And they and, and the people who they doing work on don't know. All right? You are not going to know when someone's doing work on you. Okay? Unless you're chosen. And these karmas need to accept that they're not, they're not chosen or on your level. They have to work to get there. Okay? Mm -mm -mm. For some of you guys, these karmics was even lying, saying they had dreams of you doing shit. Like, they had a dream of you and you was doing black magic on them. And, and they thought people was going to, you know, well, they thought people were supposed to believe that. And I'm, somebody could have. If they did, they're an idiot. All right? That just shows that that person was thinking, okay, of you. And obsessively thinking if they having a dream. Everyone know when you dream of someone, it's because they, they were just on your mind, okay? You was thinking about them all day. Even with, like, TV, you watch a show enough, you binge watch enough, you're going to have a dream of that show. It's in your subconscious. Your third eye is watching, too. Your psyche is open, <coughs> okay? And now, if this is, like, your karmic friend, okay, lover says they had a dream of you doing shit, all right? Or they had a vision, that should show the fucking karmic friend that they person is thinking about you too fucking much. All right? They too obsessed. Man, I would have... That can't be me. I ain't stupid. I would have been put them on a hot seat. Like, you had to been doing some shit. You had to been looking at them. You had to been saying this, that, and the third in order for that. Like, come on. In order for you to have a dream or a vision, you had to been involving your energy in, in, in into that person. Okay? Come on, man. It takes two to tango. Honestly. All right, yeah, y'all about to start having past life activations. I just got this um, message for you guys in my last read. All right, some of y'all can be 35. All right, but your past lives, higher self, your past life, higher self is going to be coming to you. All right? And we have, yeah, you're a star child. God is here activating you. I'm getting God energy. Like, his spirit is here to activate your heart. All right, so you can know that you are a star child. And I'm getting this activation on your heart is going to help activate your other past lives. Okay, because your soul resides in your heart space. Okay? I'm getting this karmic was mad because you know everything. They think you know everything. I feel like it's because you know more than them. You don't know everything. You just know more than them because they're not learning. All right? They ain't trying to teach themselves. Oh, my gosh. Some of you guys, this could have been a Taurus. All right, Taurus just came to my mind. Listen, I don't deal with Tauruses. No, no, no. No, no Taurus men over here. No. Okay, you see how I'm saying it? No, I don't F with that. They're, they're too messy and petty. No offense to any Taurus men here. I know there's some, you know, family-oriented ones, but the ones I, I dealt with, and I even counted. I, a lot of my exes were Tauruses, and they all went to shit. We're opposites, too. I would never fuck with a Taurus. Again. All right, no offense to any Taurus man or female. I have nothing against you guys. It's just I don't mix with a Taurus. All right, I don't. I don't. <laughs> I don't mix with a Taurus, okay? But we have Star Child, yeah. I don't even like to talk about, like, what signs I deal with, but a Taurus, I can't deal with a Taurus. Let me see. Hold on. And it's like... I feel like I had some past life karma, not past life karma, I'm sorry, in 
ancestral karma that I needed to like clear for my great grandmother because she's a Taurus. And I feel like I had to clear up a lot of karma for her because a lot of my karmic soulmates were Tauruses. Majority. All right. But yeah, you guys are a star child. God is reminding you of who you are. All right. And I'm getting in the past. Remind God is reminding you of who you are in a past life. You could have had a dream of your past life self. All right, could have, you could have saw yourself completely different than how you are now, and that was your higher self, and that was God showing you who you really are. But some of you guys, God is trying to show you to move on to a better lover. Fourth ray of harmony. So you guys have a lot of harmony coming in. A ray of harmony is coming down. Please be quiet to open up the door for you. Open up doors for you here. This door is like in your heart space. So you're going to have a lot of harmony flowing through your heart space, okay? Be quiet. All right, just understand our chakras are portals, and energy can flow in and out of that, okay? That's basic shamanism, right? All right, your karmics don't know this. That's why they like to call you dumb, all right, because they're trapped in the 3D. Please, please, please. So I feel like a lot of harmony is going to be flowing through your heart. Your initial could be, because look, it says here, your initial could be a B that looks like a B there. All right, a Y or like a K or X, and I'm hearing hex here. If that's any of your um initials, somebody could have been trying to hex you. Okay. My mom used to call me trying to be. To me, I could have B in your name. Or Y or K. All right, we have Merkaba spiritual protection. Yeah, you guys are spiritual protected. That's why I picked up Hex. Like, yeah, this karma tried to Hex you, but you're protected. And for for a lot of you guys, I'm picking up somebody try to send that projection towards you that you try to Hex them. Okay, but they're protected. That's what they said. You try to Hex them, but they're protected. They trying to steal your identity. All right, they ask. And listen, first of all, you're protected. And they know you're protected. So they trying to say that they're protected. All right. Because you're protected. So by them saying it, they feel it within themselves. Y'all get what I'm trying to say? I hope I ain't sounding confusing. Okay, but it's like by them hearing you say I'm protected, that makes them want to say, well, I'm protected. Okay, but a copycat, even though they're not doing anything to work on spiritual protection. Okay, and what I'm, and it's like what I'm getting with like copying you is like they try to hex you. Okay. And it's like, wait, no, no, I'm not copying you. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm getting, what I'm getting with that copying Okay, what I'm getting with that copying is more like um, stealing your identity of innocence. Them trying to portray that they are innocent, all right, because you try to hex them and curse them. That's obvious. It's coming. I don't know. I don't know what's going on right now, okay? With this particular karmic energy that I'm picking up on, you're going to know who it's for. It could be for a mixture of you guys. Like we did this discuss, they're being exposed. For this clearly this karmic is being exposed whoever said that you try to hex them but they're protected whoever said that like i said it could be multiple ones they're all being exposed for um not being protected okay and for them doing spell work on you all right and the shit backfiring on them is a result to them not being protected and my i feel like y'all get it okay you guys have spiritual protection your america but protects you and it keeps you ascended all right, yeah, this y'all going through a karmic cleansing right now. This karmic is being cleansed and removed out of your life. All right, you are protected. That's why this karmic can't come to you. They're a demon. I'm seeing this karmic as like a demon here or a reptile. Demon and a reptile, okay, and or a reptile. They're being cleansed. Yeah, they, they're dark. They're definitely dark and negative. They're a dark spirit, okay? Dark night of the soul. Yeah, they're still going through a dark night of the soul. They're still trying to find their light. They have not found themselves. This is it's like, listen. This energy of you hex them, but they're protected is coming from someone that's going through a dark night of the soul. All right, this person claiming that they're so spiritual and shit, it's like that energy of them, you know, claiming that they're spiritual and all that is coming from someone that is going through a dark night of the soul. All right, it's, oh my God, the energy they embody is dark night of the soul. But yet they're trying to say that they're so damn spiritual. That's what I'm trying to say, you guys. I'm sorry. All right, it's just like it's coming to me as I'm reading it and it's not making any sense because it's like this karmic is trying to say that they're protected and, and, and all this stuff, but yet they're still going through a dark night of the soul. They're still trying to find themselves. They're still in that dark energy here. I'm not going to call them a dark angel, all right, because this dark angel is not negative, but they're just dark. Understand that they're dark, all right? They're not of light, all right? 
reassurance of the golden light and, and they're jealous and mad because you have golden light god's light this is maybe someone who don't even believe in god who is taking advice or believing in someone who don't believe in god himself and he could even said to this person he don't believe in god i'm getting into heat shame on that person for believing them because if you know this person don't believe in god why are you believing their lies Mommy. hold on i'm almost done all right but you have that just one you guys have the reassurance of God's golden light here. God's golden ray, the sun. Look, look, look who's behind what's in front of the sun. God. Even if you look up pictures of God, you're going to see the sun or the sky. Okay? They're like showing you who God is, but yet they're hiding it at the same time. If you look up Jesus, you're going to see that he's in front of the sun. They're steady trying to block the sun. Why? Because sun is God. Okay? Creation. I don't care if you don't like how it looks. To any karmic that you know don't want to believe who God is because it's the sun or you don't like that Egyptian look and God don't care about that it's who he is if you prefer him to look like this so be it just know it doesn't change who he is in spirit okay it does, it does not change all of that these people like hold on what the heck there we go Stop. Okay, yeah, you're an angel. You could be a water sign. You're an angel surrounded by demons, literally. All right, you have a spiritual decree here, and it's very powerful, a powerful spiritual decree. All right, listen, if none of this spiritual stuff was real, they won't put it on these cards. Okay, like, y'all was literally dealing with an idiot who don't believe in spirituality because they just, they... They prefer to be in darkness. And I'm getting they deserve to be in darkness because that's what they're choosing. So that's what they deserve for themselves. If they feel like they deserve nothing but dark shit, that's what they're going to receive is dark shit. They're not going to heal. All right? It's not your fault that you receive the, the reassurance of God's golden light and they receive nothing. They choose to receive nothing. Okay? They choose to receive nothing, you guys. I'm sorry for my little um stumbles, but I'm trying to make sense. What I'm saying. And the shit, is, it didn't make sense because it's like, <laughs> how the way this person think is like, it's really bad. They have a bad mind. And this is coming from the same person who looked at you like you have a bad mind and saying stuff like you don't make sense. And now it's like stuff is coming to pass and stuff is actually starting to make sense. But they don't want to admit it. <laughs> All right. It's like you have people around you that hate to admit that you're right. All right. Yeah. They hate to admit that you're wise. You hold that second ray of wisdom. You're tapping into the realms of wisdom and logic. All right, you could be a fire sign. You're initiated by fire. You have a lot of passion within you. All right, you're passionate about the heavens. You're passionate about God, church, Christ. Good for you. We all are, we all are over here. Stay away from anybody who don't honor Christ. God. Stay away from a person who prefers the devil over God. All right, that's how you know that they are one of God. I mean, God. I'm sorry. Yeah, they are one of God fallen angels, aka one of Satan's servants. Okay, the pink rose of Lady Nada. She's still here, upgrading your heart, healing your heart, upgrading your heart chakra, so you can be experiencing love 100%. Hold on, Amino. It even says here for um my chakra centers. It says prime function, balance, <laughs> love, connection. Okay, and then. Compassion. It also says main issue. It could be ego. Okay, so your ego is tied in with your heart too. Your ego is attached to your soul. Your ego is attached. Well, your dark is is your darkness. Your darkness is attached to your spirit. You're made up of light and dark. Yeah. The goal is for you to embody full light. Okay. And eventually shed all the darkness that don't serve you. All right. But anyways, first ray of power. This first ray of. Hold on, Mino. This first ray of power holds destruction. And it says here, conscious destruction here. We're not promoting any chaos magic. All right, but we do hold our own powers of destruction to destroy what ain't serving us. We have a right to remove people out of our life if they ain't serving us. Look, it says here, the first ray of power is energy of conscious destruction. It can be used in a healthy way to eliminate the past and allow for a fresh start. 
You guys need to use your first ray of power to destroy this past energy for a fresh start to come about. God been showing you that this that there's a karmic energy around you that's stagnating you. This could be a karmic love that we've been talking about. God been exposing to you that this karmic lover is like all over the place. All right, and you need to come. You need to finally cut ties and move forward. All right, use that first ray of power to destroy what's not serving you. All right, it carries the frequency of leadership. And it's going to help you stand in your truth of light and power, okay? It helps you strengthen your real power so you can accomplish any task you choose. This is a power. This is power. You hold the power in your hands to destroy, to be a leader, all right, and to uplift yourself. Don't allow this karmic energy to hold you back here. Yeah, look, cosmic heart, cosmic Christ, this, this karmic hate that you are, you know, attached to Christ. You're anointed by Christ, Okay? I'm getting anointed with Christ. Okay, if y'all believe in Jesus, all right, I'm getting y'all wasn't anointed with Jesus. I'm not even going to lie to you. This is on the spiritual soul level. This is not on um on the physical realm. This is in the spiritual realm. We go through a lot of initiations in the spiritual realm too, you guys. The spirit's always working, even our higher selves, okay? And you went through an anointing with Jesus. I'm telling y'all, if y'all believe in Jesus, you can go to any reader and they're going to pick up Jesus. They're going to pick up Christ. I'm telling you, they're going to show you Christ. Christ, Christ is here. All right, yeah, and it's, it's a part of your spiritual decree. All right, your divine talents. You're meant to tap into your divine talents. That's a part of your spiritual decree. You tapping into your gifts here. Okay, you could have been with a karmic lover that ain't tapped into their their gifts. Thank you, Mina. Gosh. All right, so now they're hating on you because, because you're tapped in and they're not. Okay? Look, it says here for spiritual decree... You have been wondering what will happen in your next life, not realizing how much power you have to decide that yourself. And wasn't we just talking about past lives, okay? And how you guys are here this lifetime to complete your, your mission here, all right? And how in the next lifetime, you're going to be fulfilling your purpose too, okay? Yeah. Do what you wish. Wait, I'm sorry. What do you wish to have happen next okay are you willing to use your divine bright right y'all listen i'm sorry i'll be like i'll be reading things and then something else will come out that spirit all right you guys are obviously protected by divine bright um light right but this is what i meant to say all right and you see how spirit also said do as you wish <laughs> i'm coming baby it says do I'm about to say, do as you wish again. Spirit, hold on. You guys, Spirit really wants you to be free and do what you want to do. If this karmic been holding you back from doing that, you need to do opposite and actually do it. But it says, what do you wish to have happen next? Are you willing to use your divine birthright of free will, voice, and empowerment to set the cosmic will in motion? If your answer is yes, then it's time to speak your truth to the divine. To create and you shall and, and shall be it. This will be a petition too. Write up a spiritual petition for you to step into your life purpose. For you to always fulfill your life purpose. In this lifetime and each other lifetime. Remember I told y'all these karmas are trying to block you and your future lifetime from, from fulfilling your purpose? Well, that did not happen. They're blocked. But you can open up the doors for many things to happen. That's why Spirit said do as you wish. Do as you please. Utilize your petition paper, your brown paper bag, your... You know, your um, college rule paper, whatever paper you use, whatever paper and marker you use, and manifest the life you want. It's nothing wrong with manifesting. All right? If your karmic was telling you not to manifest, don't burn candles, they don't want you to be tapped into your Karuchan culture because magic is a part of our Ruchin culture. Our ancestors utilized magic to set, it, set ourselves free. All right? And that is noted in history for a reason. Our ancestors want, to, want us to remember how powerful we are. All right, inside and outside, and how together, if we come together, we will be ten times more powerful than the enemy. Stay away from anyone that does not believe. They are the enemy. They have, they hold the power of the enemy, of non-belief. The enemy don't want you to believe in it, and he'll send his his agents to make to to help. You know, fulfill his mission of you know blocking others from believing. Okay, to help the enemy block others from believing. I should, I should have just said that. All right, to, to help the enemy block others. Okay, you guys, I'm here. You're a blue angel here. All right, look up the color blue. All right, that's significant for you. But with that blue angel, I'm getting you are embodying the color blue right now. Your aura is blue, and you're an angel.
okay? The divine talent and the divine birthright, all right, to fulfill a purpose to help everyone, all right? I'm also getting your karma does not believe in collective healing, all right? They're not a part of the collective. They're an enemy. Some of you guys are sleeping with the damn enemy. You don't even know it. They're here to, like, block your purpose. They're the type to, to burn a candle to block your third eye, okay, because you moving on. But be quick to say they don't believe in healing work. All right, they're, they're a hypocrite. All right, you hold the orbs of light. Not this person. Master Helleron and Archangel Raphael. Look at this. Archangel Raphael is here. You guys love the Archangels. You love the angels. I love the angels. I love them so much. And you can utilize them for light and dark. Yes, the angels have, you know, power, all right, and rights to go into the underworld. All right, you, you know, I know there's, there's some scriptures that explain certain angels can't. But that rule don't apply for all angels. Only certain angels. Okay? But for the most part, angels have control of the underworld. Okay? And I feel like you guys got to be careful with the scriptures too because they lied to us in that Bible purposely. Okay? So we won't be tapped into Father God. Alright? They don't want us tapped into to Father. Alright? But, um, nonetheless, you guys, utilize the archangels. They're awesome. They can help you in many ways in one. And if you feel connected with the moon, utilize the moon. That's not dark and demonic. That's the enemy, man. You guys are sleeping with the enemy. I didn't even realize it. They the type to tell you don't utilize the moon for magic. And then they be hard down utilizing the moon with blood to stagnate you. No. Yeah, I haven't used my fish in a minute. Let me use my fish. My fortune fish. Hold on, Amino. Let's see. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. Wow. What does that mean? Passionate. Yeah, you guys are feeling passionate at this time. Curls up entirely. You guys are passionate at this time. God is telling you to just do it. Do as you please. Do as you want. All right. If you feel like you should utilize your spirit guides, all right, and burn candles in your house and so be it. If you live in the same house with this person, with your, with your, um, with your um per with your karmic person, your karmic soulmate. All right, that's what they are. They're a fucking karmic soulmate. All right, if you live with them or if you did, and they were trying to block you from burning your candles, that's a whole sign that you were the devil. But keep burning your candles. Burn your candles. Don't be afraid to burn your candles, especially if they're not living there anymore. Burn your candles. They can't take you down for burning your candles. They can't lock you up, get your kids taken away because you burning candles. Okay? Burn your candles. <clears throat> pray manifest you're not doing black magic so you don't have nothing to worry about and if they if, if people want to still you know put that label and name and, and, and say oh you doing black magic oh well let them say it you know you ain't doing it jokes on them but I love y'all so much namaste